you've uncovered an awful lot of evidence there. What, what happens with that evidence now? Well, there's an incredible amount. I've never reviewed a case where there's so much information that was never followed up. And the reason being is the police prosecuted Barry George and information came in prior to the trial, after his arrest, and continued to come in afterwards. None of that was followed up because they obviously continued in relation to the trial and then the, uh, the appeal yeah. afterwards. Um, and what now needs to happen is obviously somebody needs to look in relation to that evidence mm. and start to investigate some of it. There's 11 unidentified people still uh, unaccounted for in the locality. There's over 100 potential suspects. There is other information naming people and specifically giving information how this crime was carried out. Can I ask you why, if you were any closer to understanding why she was shot? Uh, that's a really difficult one because the the motivation, the reason behind it, I think it has something to do with her work on Crime Watch. There are some very nasty, horrible people out there, criminals, and I think the crucial element is, of course, from their point of view, is that they may perceive Crime Watch putting criminals away, i.e., putting friends and, and colleagues of them away, and I think that was a reason. And whilst but Jill Crime Watch continued her, after Jill Dan, don't it, it made did. no difference whatsoever, other than the fact that we were all as her friends, we were all horrified that it had happened but it didn't stop the show no absolutely and don't forget major crime is is a very rare occurrence in the uk i mean when we put our case to the crown prosecution service and to the metropolitan police the metropolitan police came back and said we're very grateful for the report we will take any new information on board and we will act upon that information and it is remains to be unsolved and we are determined to try and solve that so that's great that we're very good. positive in relation to our report the crown prosecution service response to that allegation in relation to why they didn't admit to offender profiles existing said that at the time we responded with you know honesty in return in respect of what we knew now we don't we haven't got to the bottom of what that actually means whether they did or they didn't know about the offender profiles but the key now is for jill's family for jill's friends is we've got to solve this we can't get to a posi position where we say well, and there's, a there's enough is enough there. absolutely and you know that man we spoke to he is a hitman himself he is a hitman he is uh, he himself is scared, and that says an awful lot. This guy is a... You know, he's lived in that world, and even he is saying, I am too scared to tell you. But he the, has told me who he believes it is. The police um, were interested in your new evidence, or certainly what you've been looking at. What needs to happen now? Well, I would ask the Metropolitan Police to consider the information we've got and go back over the file. Get a cold case team looking at it, start to do those inquiries that were never followed up. Because, crucially, their position was is that they considered it to be Barry George. Barry George was fully acquitted, and that now means that it's an unsolved case. Yeah. Let's look at this again with a fresh pair of eyes looking at that case. All right, thank and you And that canal much. could still be dredged. Oh, uh, absolutely, and that's a really important thing. You know, dredge it, let's look at it, let's follow each and every one of them, and, and that's one, but I can tell you there's another five or six specific named pieces inquiries in there which should be closed down. All, All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Fascinating. Thank you very much.